Pro Football Weekly is breaking down the draft for every single team. Right now we're looking at the Chicago Bears. Dan, when you look at the, what they needed going into the draft, how do you think they did in filling those needs? They did a good job of addressing needs. They needed a defensive end. They needed a guy who could help that pass rush. That's what they looked in the first round. They needed a wide receiver to complement Brandon Marshall. They found that. Uh, they added some depth in the secondary. They found a potential guy who can help at tight end. They, they definitely need help at that position. So uh, I think they did a, a fine job of you know, assessing the areas where they needed some help and going out and getting some. So when you look at their picks though, what stood out to you as your favorite pick and what was your least favorite pick? Well, I saw a lot of reach going on in Chicago. They, yeah. they, they went for some guys that we, on our board, had a lot lower than they ended up being picked. But and I think in the third round with Brandon Harden's safety, uh, that, that was one of the guys that was closest to where we thought he should be picked uh, when where the Bears selected him. So, not a guy who's going to come in, I think, and, and be a big playmaker in the secondary, but could push for a starting job. Definitely is going to help you on special teams at the very minimum. I like that pick. It's a safe one. And then uh, on the other side, least favorite, I think uh, the fourth round with tight end Evan Rodriguez, you have Orson Charles sitting out there, a guy who we had very high on our board in terms of where he ranked amongst tight ends. To pass on him for Rodriguez, a guy with some serious question marks, that's a little concerning to me. Yeah, Charles had, had some red flags, but so did Rodriguez, yeah. so you can't say it was necessarily character that made him choose it, Rodriguez over Charles. So when you look at the whole haul that they brought in, what's the grade you give him? I'm going to go C here for the Bears. I, I, don't know, I think the potential is there. This to be a very good one. If Shea McClellan comes in and, and provides that spark off the edge, if Alshon Jeffrey uh, keeps his weight under control and, and becomes that big play type of guy that they think he can be, this could be an excellent draft, but with a lot of these picks, at least half of them, you have some serious red flags that you worry about. And there was, like I said, some guys where that were picked and not the greatest value out of those picks. Yeah, I think it was questionable where they took these guys, but ultimately if they turn into the players they hope they'll be, it doesn't really matter where you take them because you get good players, you get good players, it doesn't really matter. That's a look at the Bears draft. You can check out the draft breakdown for every team that we do. It's right here at ProFootballWeekly.com.